Recently, I've been into London nearly every day, and to get into London, I have to take the tube. Now, there are always different types of people that use the train, and I've met some pretty strange people that's got me into some really awkward situations. And I'm going to share with you today my awkward train situations. Now, it was really early in the morning, I'd say about 8am, and by that time, it's like a zombie apocalypse on the train. Everyone's just like, Bleh, dead. But there was this one man just standing in the corner, you know, he was quite shabby. He was an old man, didn't, didn't have any teeth. But, you know, he was probably a really nice guy. Now, I happened to look over at him exactly when he was looking at me. So, you know, there was a bit of awkward eye contact for about two seconds. But then I heard him mumbling to himself. You know, I couldn't understand. It was just... And I could see that his, his eyes were watering. You know, I thought he was going to burst out crying. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he started cracking up in absolute hysterics. And then he stopped, he stopped again. And he started mumbling again. And everyone was just kind of, you know, what is going on? And then he just, out of nowhere again, just started absolutely cracking up. You know, he is literally nearly on the floor, you know, gonna have a heart attack because he's laughing so hard. And I just thought, is it because you looked at me? Is there, you know, a massive spot there, or is there a bit of poo running down my face? Is my face really that funny? So a couple of times I've caught the tube home at about 11 o'clock at night, and by this time, you know, you want to go to bed, you are so tired, everyone on the tube is just absolutely shattered or, you know, paralytically drunk. And this one time, it's, it's just gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. So I was sitting down on the tube, partially falling asleep, and there was a couple of people sitting next to me, and there was a couple of people in front, and I thought to myself, you know, I have to wake up here. If I don't wake up, then I'm gonna miss my, you know, miss the stop. And I woke up to find a middle-aged man with headphones on, holding the train bars, thrusting, thrusting in front of me. My eyes were burning. I couldn't really believe what I was seeing. I'm, I'm on the tube and a middle-aged man is thrusting about 30 centimeters away from my face. I was in shock. I was in, I don't know why he was doing it. I don't know whether he was trying to reenact Mr. Bean, but everyone was just, I'm not kidding. This isn't me exaggerating. He he wasn't just, you know, just giving it a little bit of thrust, you know, just as you as you normally do on the tube. He was going and he was, you know, he was going up and down. He was really like, what is he doing? He's really getting into this. And I had to ask him to move so I could get off the train because his thrusting was blocking my way. So here are some of my awkward train situations. Let me know in the comments below if you've had any awkward situations like mine. Don't forget to give the video a like and uh, subscribe up there. You can also subscribe to Moan. Yo! You should definitely do that because he's like awesome and do things. It. Do it. And uh, we will see you. Bye. Next week. You're awesome. So his name is Ollie White and he's the best in the land Cause every single video he makes is always gonna be grand Click on his page if you wanna see more He's got more subs than a jail audio store You came in, he's not from down under